Hello guys and welcome to my channel and my FIFA 21 career mode. This is going to be episode number one and the team that I am going to choose is FC Schalke 04 from Germany. Schalke currently struggling quite a lot in Bundesliga. Um, relegation almost seems inevitable. And I am gonna try to bring them back to the stage, the the level that they were on a, a few years ago. To make this a little bit of a challenge, I am not gonna use any financial takeovers whatsoever. Yeah. As you can see, I am gonna put it on ultimate. Difficulty, match length 4 minutes, Euros since we are in Germany, I am gonna have strict negotiations as well just to keep this on and I'm not interested in international offers. I am however looking forward to making this a quite realistic career mode so I will not bring in the biggest talents that you have seen in the world whatsoever it's it has to be a bit of a challenge otherwise it will get boring really soon for the preseason tournament i don't really have any preparations i'll probably go for the one i think we can get the furthest into and i am thinking it might be the european shield tournament we would love to get some more coins into the club in order to get somewhere in this transfer window. Let's take a look at the youth squad. We have Benjamin Weston, English goalkeeper, decent potential. <laughs> Il Young Han, gonna cut him straight away. Bruno Castillo, not really a guy I'm looking at either. And then we have Philip Hunziker, who has decent potential, but he seems to be such a poor rated player. I am gonna see if he's gonna grow. Antonio Rossi, <laughs> you are also on there. Decent potential, decent pace for winger as well. Might keep him. The same goes for Elias Migas, but look at this. Milan Hermann. <laughs> Where even to begin? He is five star, five star, six foot two, with eighty eight acceleration, seventy eight agility, not eighty nine balance. That's <laughs> uh, not that good jumping. Decent reactions as well. Eighty eight sprint speed, decent stamina. Not really gonna be the strong guy. It seems like. But he is gonna be a guy who can dribble and <laughs> and take shots. We're gonna set up at Pemperland for this guy straight away. I'm thinking maybe <laughs> maybe the body in order to finishing up first or maybe yeah. I think we go for Bombardier. So, as to start off, I am gonna hire two youth scouts. Uh, we actually already have a decent one, so I might just hire this guy, Finn Kuhler. Now we have two decent, one of the youth scouts I am, of course, going to send out, out to Germany. I, myself, as a Dane, remember Schalke had some decent Danish players. Uh, biggest of them, Ebersen. Um, they also had Christian Paulsen, Peter Löwenkrantz. Um, yeah, uh, can a lot of decent Danish players. Uh, Ebersen, obviously, the biggest one of them. Uh, hopefully, the scouts can find someone like him. Or in Denmark, maybe the next uh, Kevin Kurani, a guy I loved to watch play. As you can see. We managed to get an A in the training drills, a C, and then another A. So, pretty decent. Um, as we look at our objectives in the youth de development, which is critical. 
We have to sign at least three players younger than 20 years old with potential greater than the average overall rating of players currently in the same position. And then we have to, within two seasons, sign four youth players to the senior team and play them in 20 matches, either as a part of the starting 11 or coming on as a sub. Brand exposure. Get 10 wins away <laughs> this season. Sign what crucial first team player assigned to the midfield position. <laughs> and I must remember, we only have 17 away games in the league this season. So we will definitely have to get somewhere in the cup because I don't believe we'll be able to get that many wins. No objective for the continental. Uh, domestic, we have to reach the round of 16 stage and we have to finish mid table in the league and within two seasons finish in a Europa League spot. Financially, reduce player wages by 75 grand a week. And the long term is make uh, the long term is going to be pretty easy. Within three seasons, make 12 million euros from youth players. Uh, I would actually believe that's quite achievable. We are now currently at the um, at the preseason tournament. I, I will just sim every single game of it as I don't really take it too seriously there. I know a lot of money could be nice for the team but however I would prefer just to get on to the season. And here we have a look on the transfer list, my short list. Uh, some of the players I am not, not intending to buy in this transfer window or this season either. I just wanted to have the scout report on Ridley Baku and Tiro Kira. I would love to bring back him. I loved him when he played for Schalke. Otherwise, Waldschmidt, not this season. I know we could use him but at the moment as he's tearing up the Portuguese league I find it <laughs> any kind of realistic to buy him I know the Bundesliga is probably bigger than the Portuguese league but yeah yeah they play Europe we don't along with that I have Wagnerman on here I have Rick van Drongelen as well Robin Hack who looks to be a beasty talent I haven't tried him out this FIFA, but I have seen him grow to some really nice ratings, mid 80s, stuff like that. We have Philip Billing, Bournemouth, got relegated last season. I believe Philip Billing could be the Danish dynamo we need in the midfield. He is so tall. So, Piero, Waldschmidt, been around. I'm looking for, I am looking for a winger, and I remember days. days I loved watching Leonardo Bittencourt play. I believe he was a camp back then for, was it Gladbach? I, I believe it was Borussia Mönchengladbach. And then finally we have Marvin Friedrich. What a tall defender. I would love to get him in as my defender. And But I am, however, going to wait till after the preseason tournament to see if we get any money in order to see who is most who I'm most likely to buy because I'm not just looking to buy one position but a whole lot more I also put, send a, out a scout to get a report on the Danish uh, winger from FC Copenhagen uh, Mohamed Darami he's a real big talent and I believe he could be a decent player on this year's game. So we get another draw. This time, did we draw against Roma as well? Yeah. In that case, we have three draws out of three games. And we are out of the preseason tournament. Simple as that. As we get a loan offer for the, the the new big talent, Milan Hermann. I will just go on and block all future offers. He's not leaving. 
I have big plans for that guy. He is going to be our savior this season. I can feel it. For the formation, I like to keep it as it is of right now with the formation. However, I am looking as we then get the final scout report. Monotarami. 87 sprint speed, 85 acceleration, 69 stamina is decent, decent agility, the balance is a bit low, but nothing that we can't fix, a decent dribbling. She could be a real gem in the disc safe. I have decided to go after Manuel, sorry, Marvin Friedrich, was it? If we can get him for like this evaluation, it would be a brilliant transfer. They say no, they want more, and so they shall get it. But I'm not gonna go that far. 14.6, come on, accept it. Okay, there. We go 15. And add a cylinder clause on. 15% would that do it for you? They say no, so now I probably have to give them exactly what they want. Why are they gonna be so You know what, he's the guy I want, I have get him but I'm not gonna I'm just gonna get something to get something and they we agree on 17 million euros he wants to be a crucial first team player I'm fine with that he definitely has the stats for it and yeah, just, just gonna disregard the, the rule. We don't want any release clause on our team whatsoever. Get out. And really low wages for this guy, I like it. So, Friedrich first. First sign of the save. I put this in. I, I, I am gonna go for. Oh, he's that expensive. We're gonna go for the Rami, and if something opens up and we can get billing, we will, but. Otherwise, I have covered the two positions I wanted to cover the most. The Rami, as always, I go for. An ev I will go for straight up evaluation bid. They want Hamza Mendil. I am. Um, Definitely not looking to trade place with Copenhagen. He wants a five year deal, that's perfectly fine with me. And yet again, we don't look to add release clauses. He can get 3k per week, and we should all be good to go. We are. So, let's see if we could go. Oh, Roma wants Salif Sane, and they come with a decent offer. If I can get 15 million euros for him, I will happily take it. Like, can, can we go to 15, please? If we can, I will be so happy. They say no, and I'm not too bothered about that either. Nunez, who I believe is Baka Juniors, he wants to loan Hamsam and Deal. Not gonna happen. I think he might be able to develop a bit this season. As you can see, they want quite a lot more than we offered. We're gonna sit down, settle down at 11 million. They say 12.9. I'm gonna go for 11.5 and the cylinder clause 
and we have laid agreed to our terms. So let's take a look at this. It's gonna be pretty decent, I think. Not on too high wages, so he is a tall player. I like to have tall midfielders to win the hitters from the straight from the goal kicks in order to keep the opponent off the position and it is set we have three new signings on the first day and what an what a start this has been actually to what set out I'm really looking forward to you in our team I believe he can <laughs> something else on that in that position um, he kind of has it all a kind of a baby Yaya to race to be fair without so nothing else to talk about here we get an offer for Nastasic I'd love to get rid of him he's just not good enough we have Plenty more squat. Oh, what is it called? Not squat. Scout reports. Wake up. Uh, we have Masaya Okukawa, Rob Robert Skull. Uh, we have Valentino Lazaro, uh, who I might be looking to buy at some point. As we see, Stambouli's move to AC Milan has gone absolutely bollocks we get our first youth scout report with oh that was the team i'm gonna cut benjamin weston and philip hunziker as i don't believe they will grow into anything special we have a decent play already niklas lorenz and also simon iverson I'm sure some of you guys might be like oh wait isn't it Simon and Danish we say Simon and we got this guy Dennis Schuster he is looking decent Daniel Bush Kevin Zimmerman can go so can Adam Walter yeah as we get another offer for Nastasic this time it is VFL Wolfsburg who looks to take him away from us and we will be perfectly fine with that go off Nastasic please accept it so we can move on and you can start playing Nastasic has agreed a move to Olympic Lyonnais brilliant Levante wants to take away Benito Rahman I don't look to keep him at all. But no, I I definitely think it will be realistic for us to avoid relegation. With this side, it is going to be a challenge on ultimate difficulty as I am not the best FIFA player in the world. But uh, I am usually playing career mode on ultimate and doing quite okay. So I believe that we should avoid relegation. I don't think we'll be able to get 10 wins away from home this season. Uh, I believe in the Bundesliga I will be happy if we get to like 15 wins at all. But I am not sure and I am aiming to finish mid-table. I don't believe this team is strong enough as you have it on your screen to finish in a European football spot. However, it would be nice. It, it would actually be quite decent if that should happen. We actually do have quite a lot on the transfer budget due to the sales we just made. So I might be able to look at signing Robin Hark or Rick Van Kronk. 
So guys, I have made the decision that we are going to sign Robin Hack right here, right now, at the, at the end of this episode. Just to solidify that we get a decent player in. And we might even have a few, a few millions left in the budget. They want an 8% release clause. Jesus Christ, Nuremberg. What are you smoking today? I mean, I like the kid and all that, but... And 14.5 is simply too much. We're going for 12.5 million euros. What a signing this could be. I find it kind of realistic since Nuremberg is currently in the second Bundesliga. So... I believe we might just have made a brilliant signing. Such a huge talent. Huge. For almost nothing. We are now at the Hoffenheim game and that will be the first thing that we look at in episode number two. But for now, thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me and... Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Take care guys.